shapes and sizes. There are over 8.7 million different species or types of animals on planet Earth. There are many different groups of animals. For example, animals without backbones, known as invertebrates, and animals with backbones, known as vertebrates. Animals may have gills to help them live in water, or wings and feathers to help them fly. Some animals have shells that they use as their home and for protection. These characteristics or traits are what makes them different from each other. By the end of this tutorial, you should be able to explain that although animal characteristics are inherited, some of those characteristics can be affected by the environment. Before we get started, let's review what you should already know. We know that animals are classified into major groups according to their physical characteristics and behaviors. For example, mammals have hair and produce milk. Birds have feathers and wings. Other groups include reptiles, which have scales or scutes. Fish, which have gills to help them live in the water. And of course, arthropods, invertebrates that have an exoskeleton. We also know that there are differences or variations in each type of animal. For example, look at all the variation in these insects. What controls or determines the variation in animals? Let's find out. Characteristics are features or qualities that can be used to identify living organisms. For example, look at these different types of familiar animals. What are some of the characteristics you notice? The dogs, cats, and ferret all have hair, and the birds all have wings and feathers. Even though they have similarities, they're all very different. Did you notice that the cats have different colors and patterns of hair, and so do the dogs? The adult cat's pattern is several different colors, but the kittens are solid colors of black and white. The two dogs, even though they're both adults, are very different sizes. Look at the birds. They have different sizes, colors, and patterns, too. All of these characteristics are called traits. Traits are characteristics of living things. The presence of hair or feathers is a characteristic or trait. Let's practice what we know so far. Characteristics are features or qualities that can be used to identify different organisms. Pick a box that will complete the sentence to make it a true statement. Characteristics of living things are also called what? Click the submit button when you've chosen your answer. Choices are hair color, traits, feathers, pets. Characteristics of living things are also called, hmm, which one would you choose? Characteristics are also called traits. Nice job! Characteristics of living things are called traits. Traits include features like hair color or the presence of feathers or wings. Look closely at these girls. What do you notice about them? They're identical twins, which means they have a lot of the same traits. For example, they both have dark hair, dark eye color, and they're the same height. These traits are called inherited traits. The word inherited means to receive from one's parents. Inherited traits are passed down from parents to their offspring. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, is the molecule that all living things use to pass inherited trait information on to their children. DNA is found within the cells of your body. Look at this mother cat and her kittens. The kittens don't look just like their mother. This is because some traits come from the mother and some come from the father. Some traits are also acquired during an animal's lifetime. We'll discuss those types of traits later. How do the traits of the parents get passed on to the offspring? Let's zoom in on our skin. Look at the irregularly shaped boxes in the picture. These are called cells. All living things are made of cells. Now let's look deeper inside the cell, into the nucleus. Inside the nucleus is the DNA, the molecule that carries all the information on how to make specific traits. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid and it's an extremely important molecule. The DNA is like the internet. 
because it contains and stores important information. DNA provides the information that's needed to tell the organism what it's going to look like or what traits it's going to have. When living beings reproduce, some of each parent's DNA or information gets passed on to their offspring. That's why organisms look like their parents. Let's practice our knowledge on inherited animal traits. Click on all the boxes that are examples of inherited animal traits and then click the Submit button. The boxes are, they are characteristics caused by the environment you live in, they are characteristics passed to offspring through DNA, or they are characteristics passed down from the parents to their offspring. We are supposed to be selecting all the statements that are true about inherited traits. Which of these three statements would you choose? Well done! Inherited traits are passed down from parents to offspring. These traits are passed to offspring through our DNA in the cells in our body. Beak type, presence of hair, Ducklings knowing to follow their mother and the ability to lay eggs are all examples of inherited animal traits. There are so many different types of animals and there are even more different inherited animal traits. Most animal traits are inherited from their parents. Inherited traits include the presence of hair, like seen on this polar bear, or the presence of scales, as seen on this snake. The shape of an animal's teeth is also an inherited trait. Look at the chompers on this great white shark. Bird beaks are inherited traits. Let's look at some different examples. Here is a scrub jay. It eats insects, berries, and nuts, so its beak is strong and medium size in length. This is an osprey. It loves to eat fish. Notice the hook on its beak, which helps it handle its prey. Look at this hummingbird. What a long beak it has. Hummingbirds eat nectar, and its long beak allows it to reach all the nectar deep inside the flower. All of these beak types are inherited. Other inherited animal traits include skin texture, and if an animal lays eggs or gives live birth. Instincts are also inherited traits. Instincts are behaviors animals have that do not have to be taught. For example, when cheetah cubs are born, they know they're supposed to follow their mother, no one taught them this behavior. Let's practice our knowledge on inherited animal traits. Click on all the boxes that are examples of inherited animal traits. Presence of hair, beak type, ducklings follow their mother, the ability to lay eggs. We're supposed to click on all the examples of inherited traits. Which ones would you choose? Well done! Inherited animal traits are passed from parents to offspring. Beak type, presence of hair, instincts like ducklings following their mother, and the ability to lay eggs are all examples of inherited animal traits. We've discussed animal traits that are inherited. Now, let's discuss traits that you might observe in animals that are not inherited. These are called acquired traits. You might wonder, if a trait doesn't come from the animal's parents, where might they come from? Acquired traits are traits that animals pick up during their lifetime. Acquired traits may be caused by the environment, diseases, accidents, predators, or experiences that happen during an organism's life. These types of traits cannot be passed on to their offspring. Traits that are obtained by animals during their lives are called acquired traits. This dog had to have its back leg removed due to disease. Scars are acquired traits and can result from predators or environmental factors. Here's a manatee with scars from boat propellers. Sometimes people change their hair color. 
Here's another example of well-developed muscles due to weightlifting. These are acquired traits and are not passed down to offspring. Let's review what we've learned about acquired traits. Animals can have traits that are either inherited or acquired. Pick a box that will complete the sentence to make it a true statement. Acquired traits cannot be... Passed down to offspring, caused by the environment or disease, caused by predators. Great work! An acquired trait is a trait that cannot be passed down to the offspring. Acquired traits can be caused by the environment, disease, or predators. Inherited traits are passed down to the offspring from the parents. The information that's passed on to create those inherited traits is found in DNA.